Last year, Microsoft added Android app support on Windows 11 with the launch of Windows Subsystem for Android. However, it comes with Amazon App Store, which is still not available in all the countries. Also, Amazon App Store doesn't include all the apps that you find on Play Store. That's why I'm making this tutorial on how to install Google Play Store on Windows 11 PC to make it easier to download any Android apps. To run WSA, we need to enable the Virtual Machine Platform feature in Windows 11. To do so, open the Windows Features page and turn on Virtual Machine Platform. Then restart your PC. Next, if you have already installed WSA from Microsoft Store, you have to uninstall it from your PC. Because we are going to install a modified WSA package with integration for Google Play Store. Next, to locally build the modified WSA with Play Store support, you need to set up Windows Subsystem for Linux or WSL on your Windows 11 PC. The easiest way to set up WSL on your system is by simply installing it from the Microsoft Store. We also need a Linux distro so that we can run the required commands. You can install Ubuntu, Debian or any Linux distro based on your preference. Just to show you, I am installing Ubuntu. Now we are ready to build our own custom WSA with Play Store support. First, open Ubuntu with admin rights. It opens up the Ubuntu terminal. Here, it will ask you to create a user for the Linux system. Create a username and password. Once done, you will see the user folder in File Explorer. Now, let's proceed to the next step. On your browser, search Magix on WSA Local and open this GitHub page. This is a GitHub project that integrates Magix root and Google Apps into WSA. We'll use this repository to build our own WSA image with Play Store included. To do so, copy this URL. Go back to the Ubuntu terminal. Type git clone and paste the URL you copied. This will clone the GitHub repository to your computer. Next, we need to move the scripts folder and run the script. To move to the scripts folder, enter these two commands one by one. Now, to run the script, enter this command. This will download all the required files. It can take somewhere between 10 to 15 minutes, so please keep patience. Once the process completes, a command line installer will open up. Here, choose x64 as it's the most common architecture for desktops today. Now, under WSA release type, choose retail stable channel. 
If you want to try the latest WSA build, you can also select the beta or dev channel. However, I'd suggest sticking with the stable release. Under the Magix version, select the stable release. Now it asks whether you want to install gapps. This is extremely important. It will install Google Play services and other Google frameworks alongside WSA. Choose yes as we want to install Google Play Store. You can choose whether you want to install Amazon App Store as well. You can select whether you want to root WSA with Magix. If you don't want to do that, choose none. We don't want to compress the output, so select no. Finally, it starts generating the custom Windows subsystem for Android image. Once the process completes, you will see something like this in the terminal. Now it's time to install WSA on Windows 11. Open File Explorer and move to the Linux user folder that you created earlier. Here open Magix on WSA local folder. Then open the output folder. Here you should see this folder that starts with WSA. This folder contains the WSA image files. Just copy all the contents of this folder. Then open the C drive on your Windows 11 PC and create a folder named WSA. Paste all the copied content inside this folder. Finally, it's time to install WSA on Windows 11. But to install it, we have to enable developer mode in settings. This starts installing the modified Windows subsystem for Android with Google Play Store support. Once the process is done, first open Windows subsystem for Android and enable the developer mode. Then go ahead and open the Play Store app. Just sign in with your Google account. It should work absolutely fine on Windows 11. Now you can officially install any Android app on Windows 11 PC. This method is better than sideloading APK files on Windows 11 because with this method, you can also use apps on Windows 11 that are dependent on Google Play services to work properly. Still, if you are facing any issues, please let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.